The seven seals of Revelation. Matthew 24 explains the seven seals. The seven seals of Revelation, chapter 6, provide a wide view lens of the end of this age. They guide us with an overall perspective to track a course through the complex chapters of the book. Revelation is not chronological. However, chapter 6 itself is consecutive with its timing. It is an exact parallel to Christ's famous age-ending prophecies found in Matthew 24. We will compare Revelation 6 side by side with Matthew 24. This will help us understand the beginning of end-time trials on through to the Great Tribulation period, which Christ states in Matthew 24, verse 21, as the worst era of Earth's history. The first seal is opened by Christ to allow a rider, depicted on a white horse, to conquer the earth. This parallels Matthew 24, verse 5, regarding false messiahs. Messiahs can be religious or political saviors, but these end-time false messiahs depict a complete world system as they set out to conquer both aspects. This is the preparation phase, the beginning of the end. The second seal begins end-time wars with reports, then escalation. It follows along with Matthew 24, verses 6 and 7. The third seal is about famines, coinciding with Matthew 24, verse 7. The fourth seal results in deaths from the wars and famines as also depicted in Matthew chapter 24, verses 7 and 8. The abomination of desolation occurs at the time of the fifth seal, as inferred by following the parallel text in Matthew 24, 15 through 27. This is the midpoint of Daniel's 70th week, when the devil claims to be the true God through the person of the Antichrist. The fifth seal begins the Great Tribulation period. The church as Israel will go through this awful time. This is plainly stated in Matthew 24, verse 9, Revelation 13, verse 10, and Revelation 20, verses 4 through 6. Martyrdom and believers entering captivity are results of the Antichrist's war with the saints mentioned in Daniel chapter 7, verses 21 through 26, and Revelation chapter 13, verses 5 through 10. Not all believers will be persecuted. Some will be divinely protected by God, while the rest will be held captive during this time. The sixth seal begins the day of the Lord after the devil claims to be the true God through the Antichrist. Matthew chapter 24 verses 29 and 30 and Revelation chapter 6 also parallel Joel chapter 3 verses 9 through 16, Isaiah chapter 2 verses 12 through 22, and Isaiah 34 verse 4 with the same day of the Lord signs. The seventh seal closes out the age we live in, with Christ leaving the heavenly realm to begin his millennial reign on earth. Matthew chapter 24 verses 30 and 31 occurs at the time of the seventh seal. The second coming, as it relates to the rapture, is also stated in other corresponding passages that you can find in the articles section on our website. This comprehensive study is free to download at kjsoz.com.